A Mediterranean lagoon and the stony terrain of Languedoc in southern France. This is where 77-year-old French actor Pierre Richard lives when he's not working. It took a lot of negotiation before Richard finally moved here. He wanted to make sure he would have some privacy in order to devote himself to winemaking. The wine is wonderful. You sense a hint of pepper, you smell the blackberries and red berries. But the vineyard wasn't really the reason Richard bought the property 25 years ago. First, I saw the Mediterranean and the wonderful lagoon when I bought it. Then I saw the beach. So first, I considered this a vacation home. Later, other celebrities purchased real estate in the area. Richard's former film partner, actor Gérard Depardieu, also bought a vineyard. But it's apparently a different story with him. Depardieu has a vineyard by the Loire River. And he also bought vineyards at other locations. He simply buys up vineyards from time to time. But for me, this is now my home. And I'm not some lofty lord of the manor. I go for a drink with the villagers. We play bull together. The village here is called Grusson. It's home to traditional winemakers, some of whom own only a few hectares of land. Pierre Lombard is one of them. His grandfather started the tradition. Now Pierre needs to buy a new, modern corking machine, but can't afford it. But those kinds of problems are not concerns for his famous neighbor Pierre Richard. When he goes into the village, you wonder whether he really fits in. When winemakers get together, they ask, how are you? Did you have a good harvest? Did your wine turn out well? We talk about our concerns. It's a mutual thing. But Pierre Richard doesn't ask us questions like that. Pierre Richard doesn't cultivate the grapes on his own. Instead, he's delegated the work to more qualified people. Vineyard manager Eric Romain is proud to work for the famous actor. The name Pierre Richard goes a long way because basically he's known all over the world. Becoming a vineyard owner is an increasingly popular hobby among celebrities. In fact, in France, there are now real estate agents who specialize in clients like these. Thanks to Monsieur Richard, the region will become better known. He's always being asked in interviews about his vineyard in Languedoc. It would be great if even more celebrities came. The more the better, as far as I'm concerned. This vineyard, for example, is for sale to someone who can afford it. It's 80 hectares, a good location. And lots of peace and quiet. The price tag is more than 5 million euros. Many have already bought such vineyards in southern France. It often leads to animosity among the locals. The downside is that property prices increase. Young people who want to become vintners here just can't afford vineyards. Could Richard perhaps do something for those young people? The actor seems a bit taken aback by the question. I certainly do not want to become the ambassador or speaker for vintners here. But whether he intends it or not, maybe Richard is attracting more wine-loving tourists for all vintners in the region. He has nothing against that, as long as this remains a peaceful, idyllic setting. <laughs>